<sighs> Good morning, Facebook and YouTube. Look at this beautiful day today. Today is February the 25th, Thursday. I'm out here in the Roswell, Georgia area. Um, before I came out here, I went and did a quote uh, for another hardwood floor for a, a customer, Rick, that we did yesterday. He's already referred me to some of his uh, colleagues and co-workers. And I went and gave one of his uh, co-workers an estimate on her floors um, this morning. So show you guys what we're doing. Um, um, this is Mark, Mark and his wife. They moved into this house in August when they moved in. Noticed a lot of surface scratches in the floors and they just didn't like that. I came out, they found me on YouTube, by the way. They found me on YouTube watching some of my videos and said, Courtney, we just want to get these floors looking decent without sanding them or hopefully we don't have to sand them. So when I came out, I said, no, um, as long as you guys are okay with the color, the stain, we can say, he said, oh no, we don't want to change the color. We just want to uh, make the floors look better. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. So this is around 2,000 square feet. Now with this job, we're breaking this job up in two sections. So we're going to do one half today, the other half tomorrow because of the furniture. So what we did, um, so today we're going to be doing this entryway around the kitchen, around the island. We're also going to be doing the dining room. There's Eric vacuuming. Okay. And then around here and then here so this is what we're going to be doing today uh it's probably take us about three maybe four hours clean with two uh coats and then tomorrow we're going to come back and do this area right here and going out on um, the foyer and mark's office and that small bathroom so that's what we're doing today guys so we're going to go ahead and get started i'm going to go ahead and start filling up the machine getting the buffer ready start scrubbing these floors really really good and I will come back and show you some results. Stay tuned. So again, this is uh, what we call the clean buff and recoat. Yeah. And the main thing is your concern was the old finish having all those surface scratches in it. Yeah. So let me show you the first step. So you see this part that we have not done yet? Yeah. You see all these surface marks and these scratches? Yeah, yeah, see yeah. all that? Now come look over here. Look at the part that we did. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, it's smooth. See how smooth it is? And you can actually yeah. see why I stopped right there. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah. All right, so that That's just good. shows you that a lot of times people think that it's the floor was actually the finish, the polyurethane. Yeah. So this is what we call a, a, a clean buff and recoat. So we scrub it with a certain pad. Uh, we use a certain product so it doesn't harm the floor, but it's aggress aggressive enough to uh, loosen up the old finish. Yeah. See how smooth that is? Yeah. You'd be surprised. Now, I know your wife wants to see my gloss, yeah. but you'd be surprised how many times I've done this service. Yeah. And people say, you know what? Can we just keep it this way? I said, yeah, we can. Okay. So we just buff it out. Um, but, but again, the protection is going. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but that's why it's good to get some type of satin uh, if people don't want it glossy. Because a lot yeah. of people don't like it glossy. Uh, so they'll just ask for like satin. Um, yeah. But with yours, we're going to do the semi-gloss because that's yeah. what your wife ordered. Well, yeah, but, that's what yep. like the rest, the of, rest the of the house. The rest of the house too, yep. Yeah. But that's just show you the difference. See how yeah. smooth and clean yeah. it is? Yeah. yeah. And it's even. Yep. And all those little paint specks are gone. All the little paint specks are gone. So it scrubs all of that out. Yeah. And that's just a big, see that guy? See that big difference right there? Oh, there's a little paint. Oh, that's right up. Yeah, see so there's still. Oh, we'll scrub those out. Oh, yeah, those are yeah. Yeah, we get those out. Yeah. Hey, hey, easy. Yeah. Did you bring in the black bag? No. no. But you, you're going to get it. Yeah. But yeah, that's a big difference. You guys should see why I stopped right there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Look at all this dirty water. When people are mopping their floors or they're having the, hot, the home cleaners clean the floors, a lot of times you're just either moving dirt around or you're picking up a very, very small percentage of dirt on the floors. Look at that. Look at all that dirt. Look at that, guys. Look at that. All that dirty water. Look at 
Look how nice and clean these floors are. Amazing. Look at all those surface scratches just gone. guys um, the first coat is dry now I'm applying the second coat uh, so this that's half of the second coat right there customer is amazed with the result so we're gonna be back tomorrow um, this is just another video I just want to add is you know this customer is just telling me you know Courtney if someone would have charged me cheaper I would have kind of you know asked questions and he was just telling me is the reputation um, the videos the way we show up in uniform the professionalism all that plays a big factor um, in why he chose to use our services another thing too guys when you use certain companies a lot of these companies I've been in this industry for 21 years half my life they use a lot of cheaper cleaning products or a lot of uh, cheaper um, uh, products and one of those products could be floor finish, floor finishes, or just period. Nothing is is is, is it equal, okay, across the board. But especially in the cleaning industry, tools, accessories, uh, cleaning products, finishes—they're not equal. A lot of these products that certain people use, they don't get a lot of life out of them because they're watered down. And let me show you guys. Look at how thick my finish is when I pour it down. It's almost like glue. Look how thick that is, okay? That's a thick finish. Some of these finishes that you see, they're, they're, I mean, they're looser than water. All right, you see how that finish is not running? It's just sitting there. So, again, that's why I say I do my best to make sure I invest in the best to give my customers the best service um, that I can, uh, you know, that I can offer. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Add the second coat of finish in this area right here um, around the island. See how much better that looks. Remember how it was all worn out right here, all through here, straight down the hallway right here. Remember, it was really worn out right here. And then uh, I'm going to save this part for tomorrow. So you can see where I stopped with the finish right there. So we're going to save this part for tomorrow. That's the old finish we're going to take off tomorrow. And then I'm going to put down the second coat in here beautiful all those surface scratches is all going all going all right guys see you tomorrow all right guys you can see eric is extracting the floors and i'm scrubbing this is a special pad just for this service some pads will not do anything and other pads can actually damage the floors you can see Eric's coming behind, sucking up all that dirt off the floors. Look at all that dirt, guys. Wow. All right, guys, part two, February the 26th, Friday. We're back at the Roswell job that we started yesterday. So what Mark and his family did was move the furniture back to the other side of the house, which we completed yesterday. Floors look amazing. Um, they're very, very happy with the results. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up. So what we're gonna be doing today is this area right here, the foyer, the main family room. So you can see what we did yesterday. That's the new finish, two coats completely dry, okay? Um, I'm also gonna do a small repair right quick gonna fill up this little hole uh, with some wood filler and then put a little stain on top of it so that would be nice and dry before we do this small bathroom we're not going to do the masters because it was already done and then this big open area right here so you guys you can see this is the old finish are oh, you good mark and you can see this is the new finish so this is what we did yesterday all this you guys remember the kitchen look at that amazing amazing Oh man, beautiful, beautiful.
So this is the old finish. This is the new finish. Old finish, new finish, okay? So we're about to strip this down. You can see all those, uh, those uh, uh, ah, lines and uh, scratches in the floors. Well, actually not in the floor, actually in the uh, old finish. And you look at the new finish, no scratches. Looks beautiful. All right, guys, stay tuned. That is beautiful. All right, guys, we're almost done with the cleaning process. Show you guys how the floors is looking. You can see all those scratches are coming out, buffing all those scratches out. Basically just breaking down the old finish so we can apply the new finish. So that's why the floors look like that. So you can see this part that I have not done. Again, I don't know with the camera and the video, but if you look really close, you can see a lot of scratches on the floors. Okay, look at that. Look at all those scratches. See that? See all those scratches? Come over here while I scrub the floor. No scratches. No scratches. And so you have what we call micro scratches, light scratches, deep scratches, and then you have indentions. Indentions are basically something from furniture where it basically damaged the wood, pushed it in, um, reformed the wood. See over here, guys? Remember all those scratches that were over here? They're all going. So I'm about to start laying the finish down in uh, Mark's office, move to the foyer. And of course, that's the new finish from yesterday. Also right here, it's the new finish from yesterday. Oh, let me check this right quick. Just trying to fill this hole. Not bad. Might put a little bit more on there. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're done scrubbing, abrading the uh, hardwood floors, removing all that old um, uh, finish. You can see how smooth the floors are now because all that old finish is going. Now, the difference between my process and the traditional process, what they call a screen and recoat or a buff and recoat, is where they would basically, after this method, after they scrub the floors, they would basically just take backpack vacuums suck up all the fine dust 
uh, from the old finish and then apply new finish. Me guys, no, no, I like the clean. So I don't have a two step process. I have a three step process. We buff, we clean, and then we recoat. Go ahead, Eric. All right, guys, show you how the floors are coming out. So right now we're laying down the first coat of finish. Look at those floors looking amazing. So I'm about to go ahead and finish up this area. And then you can see I laid the uh, first finish right here and also Mark's office. So this is drying pretty well. So what I'm gonna do now is work myself back to here, um, do the bathroom and then work myself out. And then by the time we'll probably go just go sit in the truck for maybe 30 to 45 minutes while it's drying. Eric is doing some edging right here. See that? Yes, sir. All right, guys, almost done. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are finally done. Um, here's the, uh, Mark, what you think, man? Oh man, this is fantastic. It's like a brand new floor. Brand new floor, guys. Came out great. This foyer right here has so many scratches in the beginning. Um, just looks beautiful. So we got certain areas that are still drying, but they'll be uh, dry really quick. You know, you can see right here, certain areas are still drying, but guys, overall, very, very happy with the outcome. Give you guys a walk around. So this is what we did today. Did the uh, main living room, the foyer, Mark's office. Then yesterday we did the dining room. Already got the furniture put back. Also did the kitchen. And going out, bathroom, this area right here. Beautiful. Well, Mark, thank you guys so much. Hey, I greatly thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, greatly awesome. appreciate it. Did you find me from YouTube? Yeah. YouTube. YouTube yeah. or Facebook okay. or whatever, yeah. Okay, good. But it was the videos. Yeah, it was the videos. Awesome. It was totally the videos. Awesome. All right, guys. See you in the next one.